Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this one I'll be talking about an incident that happened with my drone a couple of weeks ago. So, me and my friend were out flying the drone and we went out to a pretty open area where there were a lot of water to just make sure we had good signal, nothing to interfere with. So on the, one of the sides it was water and on the other side was houses and stuff. So we started to just fly the drone over the house area and just have a, got some great photos. And then we decided to let's go over the water and see how far we can come before we lose signal. So we just went out straight out of the water and we just kept going and going and we came up to one kilometers. I've done that before, we came up to two kilometers, I've done that before, but then we came up to three kilometers, and I'd never gotten that far with the drone before, and still had good signals. We kept going even more, and we came up to 3.7 kilometers, and I'm kind of angry at myself that I didn't record my phone screen, so you guys could really see that we came so far, but I can promise you that it is true, and I do have my friend as a witness as well, so it's really a shame that I didn't be able to record that what happened on my phone but nevertheless we came super far and then I looked at the battery of the drone and it said that 49% I think and I said okay maybe it's time to go back so we don't crash into the water because the battery goes completely dead so we then start to go home and as you can see here just to get a bit of a picture of how far away we are you can see the, where the drone is and just over there on the other side of the water that's where we were standing, you can't see us at all, we're so so far away. But we just decided to continue going back home, and then all of a sudden I see on my screen of my phone by the controller that the battery icon turns red, and the speed of the drone limits to about 8 meters a second, and normally it's about 14, it's maximum speed. So I just thought to myself, what's going on here? And then we just kept going a little bit anyway, just because we didn't want to, we didn't have anywhere to land, we were just over water. But then I realized that the battery started to drain really fast, like a lot faster than it does normally. And I realized, okay, we're never gonna make this at all. If we try to keep going home, the battery's gonna go completely dead and it's gonna crash into the water. And that's a scenario where I don't want to be and lose my thousand dollar drone in the water. So that was not an option now because of the low battery and how fast it was draining. So we were basically looking around and see if there was a place we could emergency land it. And I looked around with the drone and we saw an island and my friend that lives in the area, he said, Oh, you know what? I actually know how to get to that island by car. There's a bridge over there. So let's go there, emergency land it and then go and pick it up. So that's basically what we did then. I drove the drone over to the island, a little bit panicked because the battery was straining faster than usual. So we just went over there and we saw a farm there. And actually my friend, because we still had so good picture on our phone, my friend said, you know what, I actually know where that farm is as well. So that's perfect. Let's land it here. And I said, great, perfect. So I went down to land it. The problem here was that we only had the phone screen to rely on. The drone was so, so far away. I think it still was about two kilometers away, so there's no way we could see it anyway. And then when I'm about to land, we find a good space that does look fairly well to land it on. I'm about to go down and I see that there's a lot of trees there. And I panic because it was going down really fast and it had initiated its automatic landing. So what I could do was steer it to the sides because it has such a low battery, I think it had like 8%, so I just took my stick on the controller as fast as I could to the left, because it just couldn't crash into the trees, and then all of a sudden we lose control, or we lose signal on the drone, and our, my screen on my phone turns completely black, and me and my friend looks at each other, so here you'll see what happened. So after I took the stick to the left, now we have loosen, lost signal completely of the drone, and I don't know what's happening, but you can see here that the drone starts spinning around in the air and I have no control of it anymore and it just spins around and this looks really bad like it's about to hit and make a big crash so when I saw this I was like thinking to myself oh my god I was lucky that it didn't break because this just looks super super dramatic and then just bam it falls into the grass and luckily it was pretty high grass there so it was kind of a cushiony air surface for it to crash into luckily it did survive just a little bit of scratching on the plastic of the drone, but nothing other than that. So, I just think that the 
drones actually, or at least the DJI Phantom drones, they really are quite tough, but again, you shouldn't really do what we did. It was a really stupid idea to drive 3.7 kilometers over water and really don't have any place to land if it would get problems with the drone like we did, but luckily we did manage to land it and just a recommendation, be safe when you drive the drone or fly the drone and just be safe and know what you're doing because it could have gone really bad for me and my friend. I mean, my thousand dollar drone could have gone straight into the water and just disappear forever. So that's gonna sum this video up. I hope you guys like this little story time or whatever you want to call it. Just wanted to share it because I got some beautiful footage of the trip anyway and I got to crash. I figure why not just share it for you guys. So I'm gonna end the video here and as always I upload videos at least once every week and I'm gonna sign off here and I hope you guys have a good day and take care.